Hello everyone, this is Petrina and Ronald. Ronald. Welcome to our Wellness Wednesday Live. We've got a treat for you today. Mm. We're going to show you a pomegranate salad recipe of ours that you can try. Yeah. If you were following us on the radio this morning, libertyradio.co.uk, mm. we explain about this salad. Mm. So we're actually going to show you how this salad is made. So if you're watching live, please say hello in the comments below. And if you're watching on the replay, please type in hashtag replay. So over to you, Ronald. Yes, um, this, this salad is very, very rich in nutrition, uh, but it's also very tasty. It's, a, it's what you call a comfort food with um, a lot of nutrition involved, very tasty. So what, what uh, the base of it is um, couscous. Okay, right. so it, we've it, got a bag yeah. of couscous, couscous here. That's see, what it looks see, like. Couscous, see up there? Couscous. Yeah. C O U S C O U S. It's like wheat, but it's a specially treated wheat. But I believe you can also get it in spelt, but uh, not always easy to get. But but just show them. Okay. What, we, the idea is you put it from the box and into a bowl. Into a bowl. And you need to add some water on it. Some boiling wa water. Boiling, boiling water. or warm water. Yeah. I've actually added like quite quite warm water. Yeah. Yeah. And it comes like quite quite a bit like rice, yeah. fine yes. finely grind rice. It's dry, and then you put you put enough water. You just gotta keep adding water until it becomes it fills up the grain of couscous. And uh, at that point in time, then it's the it's the it's your first ingredient you put in your bowl. So you have you need a you'll need a mixing bowl like a Pyrex bowl, bowl, and you put the couscous enough for say one person or two or three or four, right? So the idea is to have a, like a mixing bowl. You put a couscous in the base, with a with when it, and it, when it's fluffed up and it's, and it's absorbed all the water, then it's ready to be mixed. Okay, it's ready for the ingredients to go in. Right now, over the years, I've I've designed all kinds of amazing ingredients to go in the couscous, and so I'm going to give, show you uh, the order that would you would put it in. Okay. So first thing you would do is the onion, right? So I, I prefer the you you red you've got, you got red onion, you've got white onion, you've got brown onion. My preference for taste and look is the red onion, right? The idea is to you cut the top here, cut the bottom, cut it down the middle and half, and then you slice into half moons, and then you really dice it. You must dice it till it's very very small, okay? Don't leave it in lumps. Dice it till it's very small, and then you put that in the couscous. So you can just put it on the top. Okay, that's the first thing you do. Is put that in, and then after that, you get a some you, ginger. You get some ginger. This is a wonderful big ginger there. You would put probably about uh, that much, about that thumb. You put that much ginger in. So you wash the outside. You get all the nyal bits off till it's just the raw ginger. And then the idea would be, be that much, it'd be that much. Now, what we have a wonderful instrument called the microplane, and that's what it looks like. So, you see that? You, and then there's the handle. There's the handle. Okay. I'll get, I'll get it to you. So, here it is here. Back that way. Yeah. So, there's the handle. And there's the, the microplane. And then the idea is you grate the ginger. With that you grate the ginger with that and it, it gives you very fine ginger and you can still use a knife like a sharp knife and and cut the ginger very tiny the idea is to to make to micronize the ginger so it's it doesn't have lumps of it so it's all it's, it's grated first and it's chopped up then you put that on top of the couscous couscous Right. With the onions. With the, the onion. finely chopped onions. So onions first, couscous first, onion second, ginger. Ginger next. Uh, you can also use the microplane, this one here, you can use the microplane to grate uh, a lemon, grate a lemon like that. And that becomes a zest. Now that's one of our lemons we grow organically. You can see it's beautiful yellow colour, and that's full of vitamin C. So you would grate that the same way you'd use the grater to love that. And then you would put that in next. Okay, so you've got, so far we've got <coughs> couscous, couscous onion, onions, ginger, lemon. Yep. Okay. At that point in time, uh, you would then also, this is a 
what we call Lovely. a Lebanese cucumber or small cucumber. The idea you'd be taking the ends off, the ends like that off, and you would chop that into small pieces, like just in chunky but small pieces. That would give you one type of taste for the cucumber. Put that on top. After that, you would use maybe half of a big cucumber like that, half of it. Again, you wash it and you chop it up into small pieces, the small cubes. And then finally, um, you would get an avocado. You slice it down the middle, pull it out, make sure it's ripe, of course. And then you would just cream it out and then you would cut chunks of it and you'd put that in. So, so far we've got the couscous, onion, cucumber, ginger. cucumber, ginger, lemon, and avocado. La. Last but not least, the pièce de résistance, as they say, the pomegranate, right? So the idea is you cut the pomegranate in half, like that, and then you scoop it out and there'll be little chunks of what I call foreign, with, with, with a, I call it foreign matter, but, but you don't eat it. It's like, it's like a it's separate, like yeah. a whitish separation. The idea is to get the seeds out, the seeds of the pomegranate. So you got all this stuff on the top of the couscous, and then at that point in time, you stir it up with a good solid, with a good uh, um, spoon, spoon like a timber spoon made of wood. Stir it all up till it's, it, you've got a very colourful, you've got the avocado colour, the cucumber colour, the onion colour, the zest of the lemon, uh, and so on. And then like, after that, you could put about eight to ten cocktail tomatoes like, these like ones, this. Small ones. You can cut them in half or quarter, okay? Mm -hmm. And then when you've fixed the whole thing up, you know, the bottom ground will be at the very top. You mix it all up, you'll get all these grains of red, green, purple, um, and so on and so on. And then you can add some coriander, coriander chopped up leaves. Yeah. You probably need about 10 of those, like that, yeah. chopped up very fine. That's pretty long. So. And then what you do, you put about a tablespoon of Bragg's apple cider vinegar. Right, and about two or three tablespoons of, of Greek extra virgin olive oil, cold pressed, and then you'd put about a teaspoon or two of sel de Guerin, which comes from the west coast of France, one of the best salts you can get in the world. Sel, S E L D E Guerin, G U E R A N D E. Sel de Guerin. Uh, has got a huge amount of minerals and it's not processed at all. And so I, I keep away from uh, table salt because it's very bad for you and man-made. The cell de Garan is full of minerals and it adds a wonderful salty flavor to this mixture. So you've got the zest of the lemon, you've got the coolness of the cucumber, you've got the essential fatty acids of the avocado. Of the avocado. So, so what you've got is got, if, if you look at it, you've got nutrition from the onion, the onion, the parsley, the tomato, the lemon, the avocado, the the pomegranate, the cucumbers, and the ginger. That's a lot of nutrition. Plus the olive oil, of course, and the apple cider vinegar. And then the idea is to stir it. Now, try and consume it the same day because it will, it will go to a bit of water otherwise if you leave it overnight. But make enough, so if there's one or two or three, make enough so that the plate is empty by the end of the day, right? Now, that combination, if you do that about three or four times a week, you will not get constipated, I can tell you now. <laughs> you won't. You, you know, you get a really good bowel movement and you'll also get a wonderful sleep because the nutrition that you carry from that, you can have this maybe as late as eight or nine o'clock at night and uh, it'll give you a lot, of, a lot of energy the next day because of the carbohydrate and the couscous plus the nutrients and minerals and vitamins from all this stuff you put in, right? So let's recap. Uh, couscous, lemon, sorry, couscous, onion, uh, ginger. lemon, ginger, cucumber, avocado, pomegranate, pomegranate and, and onion. Sorry, and onion. And, cherry, and, tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. And if you want, coriander as well. And coriander. And, and the sea salt, sea apple, salt cider apple cider vinegar. And olive oil. Yep. All right, so we would love to get your feedback uh, when you've made this dish. Now with the couscous, don't be alarmed by it. It's quite an easy dish. The idea is to put, you, you put enough hot water for it to become fluffy, all right? Don't put too little, don't put too much, otherwise it'll be swimming in water. You just keep adding water and let it soak 
when it becomes just show them on a when it becomes like like fluffy what i call fluffy like that can you see like that that's ready to go then that's when you add your ingredients don't add your ingredients while the water is still in there make sure it's like a a dry a dry um, not dry but a moist a moist mixture of couscous anyway we look forward to getting your feedback and uh, do that but at least once or three times a week and then you you're going to get a lot of healthy stuff and it will also build you help you build your immune system at the same time okay so we look mm. forward to hearing from you in the comments yeah. below and we look forward to seeing you for another wellness tip next week and as you can see i've got to add this bit as you can see, have a look at Petrina's skin, all right? She, it's like pomegranate, isn't it? Like pommy, huh? all right? And look at my skin, all right? So Petrina is uh, quite young. She's about 53, and I'm about to turn 75 in August. So, but you can see the skin. It's, it's because of the type of salad that we've just explained, all right? We call it pomegranate salad, yes, don't we? Yes, yeah, yeah, we do, yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, All and right. we will see you next week. Remember to, to also subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. It's mm. Planet Wellness, mm. and I will type in the link to the YouTube channel as well in the comments below later so yes. that you can just click on it and subscribe. We share videos every Tuesday, what Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, yes. and there's always tips there for you to follow for overall wellness. So till next time, take care. Bye-bye. Have a good evening.